Hey guys, my name is Kenna and welcome back to my channel. So a lot of you have been asking me a ton of questions about making your own skincare products at home and today is going to be the first part of a many part series on at home skincare products, how to make your products at home and where to get the ingredients to make your products. So in this video I am going to be going through a bunch of different suppliers. Uh, these are suppliers that I used when I was just starting out because you can buy really small quantities of ingredients or you can scale up and buy large quantities of ingredients. So in this video I am going to cover a bunch of different suppliers, I'm going to cover what they sell and I really suggest you go check out these websites, go through all the ingredients, check out what they do and a bunch of these suppliers also have different example formulations so you can get an idea of how these ingredients are used in a formulation and what kind of products you could potentially make with them at home. Okay so the first supplier I'm going to mention is called New Directions Aromatics. Now this is located in Canada and in the US, so if you're in North America, that's definitely an easy option for you. I think they also do ship worldwide, but basically these guys are known for their essential oil kind of catalog and all the different essential oils they carry. They also do carry a lot of the essential oils in organic, um, which might have some appeal to some people as well. So. New Directions Aromatics is really great for things like essential oils, carrier oils, herbal oils, floral waters. Um, if you're interested in making your own soap at home, they have melt and pour soap bases. So basically, it'll come like in a block and then you just melt it down. You can add different colorants, herbal extracts, or essential oils to make your own types of soaps. So that's another really fun one. They also have things like clays, salts, and muds. So if you are someone that loves to use a clay face mask, I definitely recommend checking out just these raw material suppliers for the actual clay. Often that's all you're buying from an actual product brand and it's a lot more economical and it's really the same thing. They do also carry things like butters, waxes, botanical extracts, preservatives, and antioxidants. And what's cool about NDA is they have some cosmetic bases, so things like uh, body butters, shampoo, conditioner, it's basically this simple base and then you can add herbal extracts and essential oils if you want to or you could just leave it as is and it's really economical. You buy it in bulk and it's a good way to, if you do have like sensitive skin or you're sensitive to fragrance and you have a hard time finding fragrance free options, I definitely recommend just trying out these bases because they're really simplified formulations and they do not have any kind of additives in them. Um, it's kind of the purpose of them that you can fine tune it to make it your own. But if you don't want to add any kind of plant extracts or essential oils, then you can just leave it as is and it's a very kind of gentle fragrance free and additive free product. So the next one I'm going to mention is Sapphire Blue. This is a Canadian supplier. What they're really good at is they actually have a lot of recipes. So there's a ton of different recipes on their website. They do also carry most of the ingredients that I mentioned from New Directions Aromatics. In addition, they have things like equipment to make your own products. They have different micas and oxides, so like pigments. What I don't like about them though is they're pretty slow at order fulfillment and it can take a really long time to get your order. So for me, um, I found that it was just kind of a cool place to check out different formulations and recipes. I think they have some community added and they also have some experts that post like suggested recipes as well. Okay, next is a website called makingcosmetics.com. Now this one is really good, especially for things like actives and kind of specialty ingredients as far as formulations. Um, they have everything from actives, surfactants, emulsifiers, thickeners, stablers, and they also do have cosmetic bases similar to uh, New Directions Aromatics. Making cosmetics is extremely economical. It's probably the more affordable option of all the ones that I'm going to mention. And what's really great about them is the way that they categorize everything. I really suggest you go into their website, look at the different categories, look at all the different ingredients, and then within each ingredient they have kind of what it's supposed to be doing, suggested uses, suggested concentrations, and then I think they do have some example recipes and formulations as well. And Making Cosmetics is based in the US, so if you're in the US it's a very economical place to get all that information as well as the actual raw materials themselves. Okay, the last raw material supplier I'm going to mention is called Lotion Crafter. Now this one is probably the most advanced and as far as like natural products or synthetic products, it's the place to go for synthetic ingredients. And 
Um, as far as chemistry involved in formulations, these are going to be kind of higher chemistry involved formulations. Um, they have a lot of different ingredients that are used to make very complex products. But what's really great about them is they also have a formulation bank where you can look at example recipes and formulas for a huge variety of different cosmetic products. Everything from skincare, hair care, to makeup. So they have everything from actives, antioxidants, clays, micas, pigments, emollients, emulsifiers, oils, butters, waxes. What's really cool is they have proteins. That's very unique and very cool. Um, they also have a lot of different silicones. Um, they've got some solvents and they have some try at home kits. So they have some pre-made kits for different products that you can make, which again is really cool if you're just starting out and need a little bit more guidance as to what to get and why. But this is a really great one, again, to go through all the different categories, look at all the ingredients within a category, and you're just going to learn a lot about product formulation just by doing that alone. You'll start to understand, okay, what is an emulsifier? What is an emollient? You know, what role do these play within a formulation? And it's just a really good kind of do-it-yourself education tool by going through those categories and learning what all these different ingredients do within a formulation. Lotion Crafter is also really good for um, equipment. Another place that I suggest you look for equipment as far as making your own cosmetics is um, Amazon. They have a lot of different like scoops and tools and scales and it's very very affordable. More affordable than actually getting it on these supplier websites. Um, when you're making cosmetic formulations, everything is done by weight, so it's really important to have a digital scale that has two decimal points, so you know exactly how much you're adding. You can't measure by like scoops, teaspoons, tablespoons, or cups. Everything is done by weight, and all formulations are like a percent weight type formulation. Okay, so now I'm just going to mention one packaging supplier. Um, I think most of the, also the raw material suppliers do sell some packaging as well, so you can look through that, but if you're looking for something a little bit more advanced, and me personally, I really like airless packaging because it does not allow oxygen to affect the product in any way, and um, this website I'm about to mention has a lot of kind of reusable airless packaging, so once you pump the product to the top, you can use a popsicle stick, stick it back down, and then reuse the bottle, which is really cool. So this is called CPR Sale, so it's Cosmetic Packaging Resource Sale. It's based in California. They have everything from airless bottles and jars, different types of bottles, uh, glass like vial bottles, different types of jars. They have lip balm tubes, plastic tubes and then treatment bottles that either have like a pump or a spray. Another really good place for packaging, again, is just Amazon. Um, they do have a ton of different things. Often it's just a little bit more expensive than if you're finding it through this packaging resource website. Things that are really good on Amazon though is if you're getting like little essential oil roller bottles or even just the glass vials, those can be really economical to buy on Amazon. So again, I do suggest you visit all of those websites, check out the ingredients they have, look at all the different categories, start to get a feel for what these ingredients are doing within a formulation, check out a ton of different sample formulations that are provided on the websites and kind of start putting together a list of different products that you would like to start making at home. And then let me know what those products are and I'll start uh, kind of showing you my version of how I would approach that product at home. So this is gonna be the beginning of a series, but I want a lot of input from you guys on specifically which products you're really interested in making at home. I just wanna mention this video is not sponsored by any of those suppliers. These are just the resources that I used when I was first starting out making my own formulations when I was about 16 years old and they are still ones that I will go back to and purchase raw materials from if I just want a certain active, antioxidant, different preservatives or surfactants. So I just wanted to share those with you and I hope that you guys do actually check them out and start learning more about the ingredients that are in your products. So definitely let me know down in the comments below what products you're interested in learning at making and that will be totally part of the series and I will guide you guys through how to make those products at home, how I would approach the formulation, what different ingredients I would use or not use and why. And yeah, we'll just have a lot of fun working together at home in our labs and making some cool products. All the websites that I just mentioned are gonna be in the description box below so you can probably just directly click on those links and start checking them out yourself. All right, that's it for today's video. Again, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel and I will see you in my next video.